Hello there. I hope you've been enjoying this time to pause, take just a minute for yourself for some quiet time during this busy, busy season. Today's reading is about the wild turkey. less than 50-50 that I'll see them on the south facing slope above the swamp. But in Advent, if I'm up with the sun, I'm lucky nearly every morning. It's a short walk to the slope and I often hear the flock before I see them. To me, they sound like a litter of small puppies tussling, though naturalists hear cats and call the sound cluck purring. Ten hens are rowing through the hardwoods, stroking forward with long wattled necks. The males, the younger Jakes and the older Toms, keep their own societies elsewhere. Here, as stones toss away, one hen sees me and yelps, and all ten break into a run, surprisingly fast for creatures that look like inflated bellows balanced on sticks. Even supposing I could give chase and come close, they would then pop open their wide wings, hurl themselves into the treetops and glare down at me, chucking their pup pup alarm. No surprise that adult turkeys suffer no serious natural predators. Even the sub-zero cold doesn't trouble them, but snow, the accumulating kind, poses real threat. Snow covers the acorns, beech nuts and hickory nuts, high energy foods that they feed to their furnaces, burning hot and fast. Now the snow, still shallow, little impedes their nut hunt. They shovel it aside with their long and strong four-toed feet and gulp the uncovered nuts, of which there are many on this slope, which is why they camp here in winter, roosting on the big oak and beech limbs above. Also, these birds know that because the slope tilts south toward the sun, snow will melt more quickly from the grounded nuts. Truly, they've shrunk their usual range to a small plot, this particular plot, for a winter home. Another reason for here, in a few weeks, the snow even on this southern slope is apt to be as high as their thighs. Each day they take its measure from the treetops. Thigh deep, no ploughing through. They cackle a signal to each other and sail downslope 50 yards to the swamp edge. There, seeps, patches where warmer groundwater bubbles to the surface, grow a wild salad of winter crescent ferns. While seep greens generate little heat in the turkey's gut, it's what they have here. What they like is a thaw. If not enough to bear the ground, then for the refreeze that forms a walkable crust. Gingerly they test the surface. If it holds, they quick step a hundred yards or so to a wild field, eager beaks cleaning barberry, winterberry and hawthorn bushes, always ready to hurry back to the woods before the air warms and the crust gives way, shackling them. If the snow does not thaw, if it falls thick and blows, this place provides them one last recourse. They've seen that the swamp also has fir trees, and fir branches make sturdy canopies to roost beneath, dry and unblown. Each hen on her branch fluffs her feathers against the cold, 
Together they might sit fluffed for more than a week, burning body fat, calling reassurances to each other, especially to the youngest of the slightest heft. Together we can outlast this right here in this sufficient place. Almost halfway through this was day 14 so halfway through December almost hope it's going well for you hope you're getting time to rest as well as do all the things in preparation for Christmas Day and hoping perhaps you're having parties whatever's going on with you hope this is just a quiet few minutes and thank you so much for joining us each day take care we'll see you tomorrow Bye.